Showtime! The Capital G Show starts right now. What's up YouTube? Capital G here. So guys, today I want to talk about the new hotness in Yu-Gi-Oh! That is these Macro Cosmos Skill Drain Engine decks that have pretty much taken the regional circuit by storm over the last couple of weeks. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and check out Slim and mco 4 dch channels for the uh, full deck profiles. Uh, this all started a couple of weeks ago where in New York, a duelist took a very anti-meta, uh, stunnish deck to a regional top 8 finish. And, you know, kind of the centerpiece to the deck were the macros and the skill drains and things that, you know, all have synergy with those cards. But then just last week on the West Coast, we saw a similar result. But instead of running the, you know, stun type monsters like Thunder King Ryo and Doom Caliber Knight to support the engine... He decided to run, you know, a lot of beatdown vanilla normals, things like Gene Warp Werewolf, and he ran uh, Saber Sources along with Rescue Rabbit, obviously, so that he could have access to the Evolzers, but the same core engine was the same. Now, this core engine, which I've codenamed the Mac engine, it consists of three Macro Cosmos, three DD Survivor, three Beast Kings, two Skill Drains, and the Silviori Calcos. And it's very comparable to the Destiny engine of Formats Pass. That's where you had Stratos, three Malicious, three D Draws, Rhoda, and a Diamond Dude. And you can pretty much take that engine and infuse it into a multitude of decks spanning across multiple formats. You know, whether that be Perfect Circle Monarchs, T-Hero, or even something as recent as like Teledad, the engine never changed. Now, the reason I'm so happy and fascinated to see that the Mac engine is successful right now is because it actually fits my playstyle as a duelist to a T. Very conservative, very anti-meta-ish, very, very defensive player that basically fits me. You know, despite the fact I'm playing in sectors right this minute, they don't fit my playstyle at all. I mean, the main reason I'm playing in sectors right now is because and Sector Hornet is probably one of the top five worst design cards they've ever created, but that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother video. But when you break down the Mac engine, you know, whether it be the normal, you know, Saber Source running deck on the left or the anti meta stun Doom Caliber deck on the right, it's easy to see why the engine is having so much success right now. You know, I've always thought that stun decks at their core should have cards to where when you activate them, your opponent can no longer play Yu Gi Oh! Like, they don't have a win condition anymore. And I'm talking as something as simple as activating Macro Cosmos against a deck like Mermail. You know, they basically have two, three turns tops to get that card off the board before they lose because it shuts down everything that they possibly want to do. And, you know, you look at one half of the Mac engine, Macro Cosmos, let's start there. You know, it shuts down Mermail. It shuts down Dark World. It shuts down Insectors. And, you know, it, it even seriously hurts Fire Fist, you know. But it's not all about hurting your opponent. You know, your deck's abilities are actually boosted by Macro Cosmos too. When you activate it, you now get these really annoying near unkillable DD survivors that go to a pretty respectable 2300 when you have the seal on the field. And these things just create a wall to your life points that your opponent can't get by. You know, they give you an unlimited offense. So it's easy to see why this half of the Mac engine is really important. You look at Skill Drain. Skill Drain shuts down windups. It shuts down Insectors. It shuts down Fire Fist. It shuts down Karakuri. And at the same time, it gives you additional boost to your deck. You know, Beast King goes to a, a, a ridiculous 3,000 attack. I mean, that's godlike. You know, this guy can now fucking run over Synchros and Xyz, but you can just normal summon him. So it's kind of easy to see why the Mac engine is gaining popularity and so successful right now. Between Skill Drain and Macro Cosmos, so much of this format is either just slowed down or shut down or adversely affected in some way. And all you have to do is construct your deck to where your monsters don't care about those two cards. And if your opponent can't play Yu-Gi-Oh!, they just get absolutely destroyed. I also think that the Mac engine is fairly future-proof. I mean... You know, Macro Cosmos can disrupt Prophecy, they can't use Spell Book of Life, the tower won't go to the graveyard so it won't resolve properly. I mean, E-Dragons can't really get the deck rolling if they don't have anything to banish to summon the E-Dragons. I mean, it kind of slows them down. Skill Drain really disrupts Prophecy. If they don't have Magician, once again, the deck doesn't really get rolling. They can't lock you out of Special Summoning with jo uh, Jogan the Spiritualist. And then Ophion doesn't do anything to this deck. You know, if your opponent is playing something like Laval's, I mean, have fun playing Laval's against Macro Cosmos. You're not going to have a fun day. So 
I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that this is a blip or a trend? I mean, I don't think that, you know, uh, a Mac Engine deck is, like, going to win the next YCS because I don't think they'll have the numbers. But, you know, I think at least for the end of the format, the Mac Engine is uh, definitely going to be a strong contender. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching, and I'm out. Subscribing makes life happy.